We're in Saturn Valley, and presumably we can now go wherever we want. Let's see if it lets us exit. It is letting us exit. So we could go back into the rest of the game if we wanted to. Oh, let me know if there's any like super secret bosses or post game content that a let's play would be incomplete without. I might do a bonus episode on that. Can we save? I want to save. I think it's important to save now. Let's save, please. Ness, it's your dad. You have, you're loaded. You're rich. You're gonna be a millionaire before you know it because of your allowance. Also, what do you think about fuzzy pickles? They're pretty good, aren't they? Uh, dad? What? Okay, what are you up to? Oh, the Mr. Saturns are incredible folk. And the Apple Kid, he's a most exceptional young man. Unlike my son, Dad, stop it. I'm gonna outshine you before you know it. I'm gonna invent a theory that explains why magnets moving through a loop of wire is the same as a wire moving over a magnet. I bet you never thought of having a theory like that. Oh, why would I ever think of a theory like that? I think it's gonna involve space and time being relative. What? That's a... I don't comprehend what you're talking about. That's because I'm smarter than you, Dad. Very different from other kids. Well, anyway, the prototype phase distorter has been stolen. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes. <laughs> I guess that's not inaccurate. <laughs> Took Mr. Saturn captive and stole the device. Oh no, not Mr. Saturn. What are we going to do without Mr. Saturn? No, I didn't want to go in. I wanted to talk to the other guys. No! Okay, it didn't work. Hmm, it doesn't work. One thing's missing. The one material cannot be found on this planet. The material I'm thinking of came from another planet. It fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a planet anywhere recently? Yes. <laughs> Eureka, that's it. I forgot about that. I'm just a piece of the meteor I can synthesize the material Zeke-san-yite. I doubt that your mortal enemy Gygus or whatever will allow you to go to one and get a piece of the meteorite by now. One it is his evil hand. You must go, though, so take every possible precaution. The Mr. Saturns have introduced some of their new developments at their shop. Please check them out before you leave. I wonder what it, what it is like at this point in time. I meant to talk to you. The phase distorter will certainly be completed someday, in my humble opinion. I'm not sure what will happen, but I sense big time trouble ahead of you and big time riches for me. I'm gonna stay here for a while and help Mr. Stattern to support for a man to enjoy doing his duty. All right, where is this store? Is this the store? No, it's up. The cliffs? Yeah, it's not here. Yeah! What do you sell? Hi, hi! Nothing worth buying. I'll get a bunch of, buy a bunch of these and get the things from Tend to Village, but I don't really care. No, not going out the door. There's just nothing worth buying. Look at Ness's stats. Wow! Insane. Time to go to one at. See what's going on there. Ooh, it's dark. Let's save. Let's not save, because we can't. There's nobody here. Oh no! It's the same map. Tough enemies, apparently. No, not too. Mechanical Octobot and Ghosts of Starman. Well, we got a ton of PP, so might as well. Oh, did you see that? That was insane.
All right, NASA's level one up to 80. Wow. Still leveling up like crazy. Where am I going? Up here, right? This is our house. Can't return the map or anything. What is that? Evil eye. Oh no. Try some PK Love Mega. Let's go. There's no reason to go so hard. I'm just doing all my most powerful attacks. <laughs> okay, it's strong to fire. Whoa. <laughs> here I am hoping that there's a bed up here in my house that I can go into. Okay. This is a problem. That's Ness. Can Pooh do healing? I guess he can. It's Gamma, right? Healing Gamma? Alright, yeah. There we go. <laughs> now, hopefully... Yeah, we can go home. Uh-oh. Can we go to sleep? We can save. Mom, are you okay? Can I sleep here? Oh, Ness, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around one at now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I'm a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. You hungry? You want to eat some butterscotch? Yes. I haven't had this in forever. You more relaxed? Did that heal me everything? Yes, it did. Ho ho ho. Ah, uh, yeah. This is the best save spot. I'm going out. Sorry, Mom. There's so many enemies. You were? Nope. Still three. Whoa! Okay. That was bad. <laughs> he used PK Starstorm on me. What was I supposed to do? Mom, I got PK Starstormed. Oh, that sounds horrible. I'm sure you'd like to eat some butterscotch and I'll be okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Don't cry, Ness. Anytime you get PK Starstorm, just come right back here and eat some more butterscotch and it'll all be alright. Okay, Mom. Thank you. <laughs> now they're gone. Okay. Wait. This is Pokey's house. This isn't where I wanted to go. We gotta go down here. And despawn that enemy. Yeah. There's more of them. Lots of them. Can we despawn them? There's more! There's one. One is better than a bunch. Going up the mountain to the mountaintop. Okay. We ran away. That was a bad battle. Alright. <laughs> We're gonna do some stuff. We're gonna get some people back from the dead. <laughs> it was a bad battle. All right, everyone is revived. Everyone has low HP. But Ness has lots and lots and lots of PP. Ooh, surprise attack. That wasn't bad. All right, they just went away. Where's Mr. Adjurate's house? Did we pass it? Oh no, more appeared. No. Okay, let's run past this one. Oh yeah, butterfly. Man, those Starman ghosts are crazy. Because they attack before Paula can put up a shield. Okay, we can go 
in here? No. Treasure Hunter, this is Liar Exaggerate's house. He dug up a statue that almost destroyed the world. Hey, look, we get this nice clear path up to here. We're gonna fight Pokey? There's something shiny you can reach. You wanna try to get it? Yes. Yeah! Ness got the meteorite piece. All right, time to go back home. Can we teleport here? Is there enough room? Uh, oh, what about here? Yeah. Saturn Valley. All right, now we got the meteorite piece. Only had a piece of meteorite, like the one you got in your pocket. Like, if only I could have that. You know, I really wish I could have that meteorite piece. Dad, why are you being passive aggressive? I'm not passive aggressive. Or just, you know, it would be nice if I had that piece. <laughs> oh yes, this is fantastic. What? Well, oh, I've never actually seen the incredibly rare element before. It's very intriguing. All right, leave everything to us, and you get some rest. This is getting fascinating. I just slept. You mean after sleep again? Watch, it's gonna look completely different. Oh no. <laughs> Finally, it's complete. Phase Distorter version two. It's equipped with two new features. First, you can repair your biological functions. You can save your progress. Oh yeah! Looks like a bed and a phone in the same thing. Someone should invent that in real life. Don't be afraid, get right in, it's just one thing though. You might not be able to return. Make sure you're optimally outfitted. Okay, that's the game telling us it's time to go. Not ready to go. Room. Picture postcard. Not really horrible, but the scene on the front doesn't make you want to go there. Okay. Maybe this is a side quest item? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just selling it here. What is this? What does it do? Revives the friend who's unconscious. Also works for well poison nausea cold scissor. Paralysis, diamond eyes. That's pretty good. I have infinite money. Might as well buy a bunch of those. Mm, I should buy Psy items. Is there anywhere that sells Psy items besides that dream world we were just in? Oh. Oh, crap. You can teleport to Tenda Village. Oh, no. Oh, my. Why? Why didn't I know? Oh, no. That has saved me so much trouble. Damn it. So, can you guess why I'm in the desert? That's why, baby! <laughs> I have prepared! Alright, there's gotta be a reason for this cave, right? It can't exist for nothing. No problem. No problem. Just, there's no reason for this to exist. It doesn't make any sense! All right, I'm all itemed up. I'm all healed up. Ready to go. At last, the time has come. Remember, the phase distorted version two is a couple of two new features. Prepare your biological functions and save your progress. Get right in. So, if I didn't prepare, then would saving here screw me over? Oh, hey, it's, it's this place. I was just here a minute ago. <laughs> what are you? Oh, greetings. So you're finally here. I'm going to take Pooh away and make him PK Star Storm will make. There's only a little time left. I'll give you this last power. I must go now. Oh, okay. I guess I was just right. PK Star Storm Omega. We're going to be using that on a boss. Kidnapped, I was born. Kidnapper, bad guy. Bad guy, go home. Go to the past. Ding, ding. No problem here. I want to make a bridge right over there. Uh. 
Oh, I see. Kidnapper Pokey? The phase disorder has been completed. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gygus is attacking from our exact location. We're just attacking from many years in the past. Very hard for me to tell you, but I'm your grandson. What? You almost warped to the past to fight. We here too, boy. Kidnapped. Bad guy look like a pig. Uh, so he was a Mr. Saturn? No, Mr. Saturn's no look like pig. Boink, boink, ding, ding. Um, can I not go in? Oh, he moved. What is this thing? It looks like a thing. In order to defeat Gygas, who's attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. Phase this door to three, however the machine cannot warp living things. I mean life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot one. And send the robot one to the past. The transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot one. While your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle in the past. You must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. You still wishing to face Gygus by traveling to the past? Of course! You accept this ball knowing that you may not be able to turn your current form. I see. You really have set your mind. Let me take a good look at you now, Ness. Give me that red cap. I always wanted a red cap. All right, drilling holes in Ness's skull and ribs. The flashing was the pain. Uh, I don't need this body anymore. Dad! I don't care. I my mind has already been taken away from me. I don't need my eyes and ears and. Yes, Paul Pooh, Jeff, my son. There's no turning back now. Ness, activate the phase distorter three by your own hand, thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Only a few people know of your amazing courage and the number of people who save you. The bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. Oh yeah! I haven't saved in a little while though. Hopefully I don't have to go through all that if I lose. However, this is an old game, so it may make me just go through a whole lot if I lose in the final boss. That's what old games used to do. It's like, oh, final boss? You need a penalty. So, <laughs> what is that? I guess we really are robots. Took that to a whole new level. It was like, yeah, you died to a final boss. You need a penalty. You need to play an hour over again. There's new enemies over here. What about up? Up should have nothing, right? Can we save? Uh, I guess we want to save. I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm fairly well prepared. Who is this, Nez? You are cold or something? Your voice kind of sounds kind of fuzzy, like the pickles I love so much. Oh well, that's okay. The next figure should be there. Fuzzy pickles. All done, your dear old dad was thinking about hitting the hay, looking at all them pictures he got taped to the ceiling. Oh, he's got sound effects, it sounds like tin cans on the ground or something. We can fight you! Ooh. Oh, they're just reskins. Boring. The reactor robot kept healing over and over and over again. Please do not be the same enemies. Ah, they're the same enemies.
Hello, single enemy. Easy fight, only about 10 seconds. Two enemies, nope, they're just spawning more. Oh man, I was hoping it couldn't get here. Oh, no. Oh, Pooh turned into Ghost of Starman. You know what that means? No. Okay, I was hoping Pooh would get free PK Star Storms, but no. All right, one enemy, please, just one. Please, just one? Yes, okay. Oh yeah, we got a PK Caramel from that. Come over here and get stuck there, please. Thank you. Also, um, those Octobots seem to keep trying to do Confuse on Jeff and failing. Oh, I was hoping you were just gonna stay there. More enemies, so many more. Despawn, please. Okay, fewer. All right, can we get past this other one? Nope. Legendary bat! Is that the ultimate weapon? What do we got? Legendary... Uh, let's examine it. That's gonna equip it. Nothing special about it. Nothing casey about it. Legendary 22255. Oh, yeah! Now let's drop that other one. Oh, it looks so rare. Like, it's super rare, though. No, let's not drop it. I mean, paranoid. Let's not drop it. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of the other one's way before it can get here. Okay, looks like we are here at the end. Um, I'm gonna end this play session, but it'll probably be the same episode. Maybe. Maybe it'll be a new episode. I don't know. It depends on how long this whole thing is. I've been playing for like an hour and a half, so it's probably gonna end up being two episodes, but... Uh, yeah. Alright, this is a new day, a new play session. I am ready to finish. And you know how I know it's not the beginning of an episode? Because I already put up the episode before this. <laughs> yeah, this whole game has been me playing each episode a day or two before it comes out. <laughs> yeah. Well, somehow that's how, sometimes that's how it is. I hope my words have made words. Final Starman, what is that? Oh! I'm gonna do nothing until I get a shield, Larry. In case it has a shield, probably does. Brain shock. I don't even know what that does. Oh, it's confused. Do I know how to get rid of confused? I'm not sure. Uh, Horn of Life? Maybe? I don't think I want to use that. Anyway, let's just bash. I didn't see if it had a shield. I didn't see if it did anything. No! Ness killed Jeff! Who could not turn into Jeff? <laughs> oh no, it has Pika Star Storm! I really hope I don't die! Oh, I was hoping to heal. I won. Very difficultly. That was pretty insane. All right, now it's time for the Horn of Life. Use on Jeff. Jeff is revived. And has full HP. All right, let's do some PK. Who gives the PK beta? Because we have a ton of, of Psy Point items for Pooh. Come on, go in. More enemies. Okay, we learned a couple of things there. For one, Pooh turning into the Ghost of Starman does not give us a free uh, PK Starstorm Omega. It just has us use PK Starstorm Omega. So there's no point in doing that. 
Um, also, um, Psy Shield does deflect or does prevent PK Starstorm Omega from hurting us. Oh good, the enemies disappeared. We get to go a little bit farther without fighting anything. Yes. Worms! Ew! What is this? Why am I going over here? Ew! I don't like it! It's so gross! Yeah, I get there's supposed to be pipes, but it looks like worms! Ugh! <laughs> Are you Gygus? Is this the final battle? You look like a final boss. Are you a brain with neurons made out of pipes? Why is that Ness's face? Uh, it's Pokey. Yes, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. I assist only the strong and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The apple of enlightenment has already made a prediction. But I won't let what the apple of enlightenment predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gaius. <laughs> Gaius will be stronger, a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me! I was led by Gygus and now I'm here! The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this! Master Gygus, no! Gygus is no longer the wielder of evil! He's become the embodiment of evil itself! Which he cannot control on his own! He is the evil power! What? I didn't get any of that. Gygus and its cohort attacked. I remember this pokey boss from Super Smash Bros. Uh, Brawl, I think it was. Okay, what do we want to do? Should we just go out swinging hard? PK love Omega! And Paula can give us a Psy Shield. And Jeff can spy on both of these. And Pooh can mirror Gygus. No. <laughs> no. Let's just defend him for now. No! Everybody's gonna die. Oh, it's only Beta. Very stinky gas. No! He came out! What? Why did it hit poop? Why is poo dying? What, what? Why did that happen? Is there a possibility that PK, PK Love Omega could hit a party member? Huh. Well, we know what we gotta do now. Uh, healing Gamma. And now Paula, let's do PK Fire Omega. Oh no, it's only one. Mm. PK Freeze Omega. And you, I didn't see if anyone had a shield. I guess we'll find out. Pokey first. Haha, <laughs> can't hit me! Ooh, that's a lot. 260 is good. All right, he lost a turn. All right, so what I want to do with Ness is PK recover Omega. I want all of us to recover. And hopefully the size shield doesn't make it go away. All right, Pooh needs a size shield. Uh, where is it? Uh, come on, I think I'm getting controller drift. One of us, one of us, I guess beta. Alright, uh, Jeff can continue to do this. We're gonna spy on Gygus and get an item! <laughs> As in Gygus has no 
Let's see what happens if he spies on Gygus, if there's any text. Yeah, well, you know what we gotta do, right? PK! Star Storm! What? Um, so... So apparently, psychic attacks on Gygus, susceptible brain shock, apparently psychic attacks on Gygus do not let a, uh, reflect back on us. So... Let's keep that in mind as we attack Pokey instead. go hard. All right. Mm. Healing Gamma revived. Yes. I understand you guys are always claiming to be heroes, but it's a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gygus. It must feel pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what Gygus looks like. If you were ever to see Gygus, you'd be so petrified with fear you'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. You want me to turn off the devil's machine? Prepare to be amazed. Okay, things are changing. Isn't this terrifying? I'm terrified too. Gygus cannot think rationally anymore. And he isn't even aware of what he's doing now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. That's what he is. <laughs> and you, you will be just another meal to him. Phase two. I guess I attacked Gygus. That is weird. <laughs> okay. Let us... Do some healing. And you... Just, just go hard. I don't have any Psy items for Paula, though. I guess that's fine. We don't need them. Paula can normal attack, too. I did remember, after coming to this place, and after saving, so I can't go back, but I did remember that woman who sells magic tarts at the beach. I was like, damn it, why didn't I buy some of those? It's too late now. Come on, get to the thing. <laughs> okay, who can drink this? Yes. BK Freeze! The Gygus hasn't attacked us yet. So I think we shall just continue fighting. Uh, actually, yeah, I bought these. Brought these. What am I not using them for? <laughs> Wait, no. I want to do this. That's right. He didn't have a Psy Shield at the moment. He can Star Storm! Alright, it hit Gygus now. You cannot grasp the true form of this attack. That's okay, it wasn't that bad. Bam! Now Pokey's back. <laughs> you must be really at the end of your rope. No, I'm good. In this bizarre dimension, you four are the only force fighting for justice. And here you stand, waiting to be burned up with all the rest of the garbage of the universe. <laughs> That's so sad, I can't help but shed a tear. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. 
I must be experiencing absolute terror. Wow! Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? <laughs> Why not call your mommy? Say, mommy, daddy, I'm so frightened I'm gonna shit my pants. I know you have to apathy or something, so just try to call for help. You pathetic like weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. <laughs> Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will be over soon. Phase three. Alright, here we are. And time for some healing. And Paula can do uh we'll we'll let her um Oh we can't. Okay, let's let's try this. Nope, 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 get over there. Heavy bazook. And let's just use one of these again. Yeah. CK Magnet! That doesn't work. Yeah, I cannot crash the true form of Magus's attack. Jeff's dying. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What? Why not? That was so weird, why didn't it work? I don't want to use healing. Even though the status is just gonna make us keep missing. No, let's do pray. Hopefully, and just hope for a status recovery. Heavy bazooka seems to be the best thing. All right, what can you even do? Let's use this. Right, not right, not right. And Ness, no, not in Jeff, Ness, yes, yes. All of a sudden, monkey came along, pinned the enemy down. It didn't work. <laughs> Bam! Ooh. This is new, that's, what? 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 Is that necessary? I was thinking that phase was going on for a long, long, long time. I guess that was necessary. Well, I hope I get all my characters back and all my stats, or else this is the end of the battle. All the Mr. Saturns felt a new, startling feeling they had never experienced before and they all started praying for the safety of Ness and his friend. <laughs> Defenses became unstable! Please give us all our health and stats back. No! Ah. But I'm, I'm gonna die. This is better work. I only got one try. No, no, no. Pray. All right, and uh, Bash is gonna do nothing. Have no goods. Monkey's love. That's really all I could do. Brainstone do. I'm so sad, Ness. Friends. Stop attacking. Jeff is revived. Nothing happened with the brainstone. Oh. It's the runaway five. Yeah, life is all about money and freedom. We don't have money. We're so sad, so we like our freedom. Cause we don't have money. Uh, okay. Okay. Now I can't do anything at all, right? Yeah, literally nothing. 
I, Paula is paralyzed. I guess this is all she can do. Multi bot rocket, just in case it works this time. Turn into Gygus! <laughs> Try it again. Didn't work again. Okay. Bring again. All the people of Earth. Yes! It's my house, Dad! I'm praying! Come and save us! We're fighting for the universe! All the universe! All his father thought he somehow heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Paula and her friends. Hundred damage! I have a feeling we need to get through all the prayers before this will actually work. Pray again. Giga seems to not be able to attack between prayers, so let's just keep going. Go back! No, Giga is attacking again. No, hurry up. No, 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 hurry up. Stop, 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 stop. No, Jeff is dead. Jeff is dead. He's not gonna get the experience from Gygus. Oh, oh, my boyfriend is dead. We need to go pray for him. Whatever that means. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Suddenly. Tony felt anxious about Jeff, and he prayed strongly for the safety of Jeff and his friends. We gotta send our vibes out into the multiverse timeline, or whatever. Jeff's dead. Hmm. I wonder why Tony felt anxious about him. Let's just to keep it going. Feel good. What? No, I'm dead. This is disappointing. I'm so disappointed. Okay, so I decided to reload because that was going nowhere. Ooh, this is new. Squatter Demon, what are you two? It doesn't have a shield. I used a shield killer. It didn't work because we don't have shields. We're a little PK fire. Alright, might as well do that, right? <laughs> that means also heavy to bazooka, right? That was terrible. All right. Oh yeah, why don't we <laughs> equip this thing that gives Ness higher defense? All right, here we are again. Let's do it right this time. Okay, now we know we can't attack Gygus yet. So let's just attack heavily armored Pokey. And uh, while we do that, why don't we get rid of Paula's PK because I think that she can't use it during the actual Gygus fight because she's going to be praying all the time. Also, Gygus looks like a planet, kind of. So Jeff is going to... What is Jeff going to do? Right. We're going to use these multi-bottle rockets on Pokey. So I used a couple of them on Final Starman. Got them in one hit. That was nice. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to go and attack Pokey. Oh, right. Right, we kind of want a Psy Shield for this form.
Only 220, that's terrible. Where'd I go buy all these things for? Super bomb, yeah. Yeah. Wait, why did it hit nest? Oh, cause it's reflecting it. That's terrible. So let's actually replace our shields with these, cause I don't think this reflects them. <laughs> what happens if Paula prays here? Let's get Ness all his HP back. Made it disappear, yay! All right, that was uh, pretty good, I guess, because now, wait, what? I think that it's phase three, right? All right, phase three. Oh, I forgot I did that. <laughs> All right, so what we gotta do now is not attack Gygus. Paula can pray, doesn't matter if she's paralyzed, that's totally fine. And Jeff can, I, I don't even know. Um, right now, we're just gonna be um, praying. Cause that's all that I know that we can actually do. No! Stop it! All right, guy, yeah, his defenses are unstable. All right, next phase. Okay, I guess we don't really need to do anything. We want to make sure to keep Paula alive. That is our number one priority. So let's see if we can get a shield. If this shield will work on Paula. Who is it this time? Ah, oh, yeah. Whose girlfriend? One of his many girlfriends. A young woman in Delam woke from a dream in which Prince Pooh died. She began to pray for the well-being of Pooh and his friends. Yeah, that's going up every time, isn't it? I bet the last one's gonna be like 999,999. All right, so I've been giving these people shields and um, it did reduced Gygus' attack once. Um, I wasn't talking and I didn't mention it, so I probably forgot about it. Or probably didn't find it in the editing. But yeah, but unfortunately Gygus also has insta-kill attacks, so... <laughs> Who's next? Who is it? Who's gonna save us? It's the... It's Frank? Frank? Is his name Frank? Frank recalled Ness's shining young face, the face of the man, of the boy, who beat him up, kicked him out of town, and made him pee his pants. And I was like, yeah, I want that guy to win. Yeah, it's, it's, it tripled that time. <laughs> he looks power. Who is it this time? That's Ness's house, right? Yeah. Oh, I hope this means it's the last one. Suddenly, Nessa's mother felt terribly uneasy. She began to pray for the safety of her son and his friend. How much health is it gonna take? Oh yeah! Is that the end? Is that the last one? Ness tried Shield Alpha. Now, do we have to fight again or do we keep praying? Can't think of anyone else. Anyone, please help us. They're still going. Paula's call was absorbed by the darkness. Uh oh. I guess that means we're on our own from now on. Time to go all out. Okay, so I looked up a strategy and apparently Paula needs to keep praying despite the fact that it looked like it was over. So yeah, I'm gonna keep doing defend and Paula's gonna keep praying. Man, I, I, I don't like this. I don't like this battle. It's not good, it's like, 
parts of s s uh, s s uh, having prayed for the kids, having never met them before. Three thousand. Uh, kept praying. S Square, it's me. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it turned out all I needed was one more, one more prayer. Dang, I've spent so long recording. I think I've gone over three hours in this one recording session, which is half an episode. Uh, all right. Bye, guess. Yes, no, it's gonna seem like I'm running away, but I'll just sneak away to another era and think about my next plan. It's a good bet when we see each other again. I'll be seeing you. Which one do you think of us as a cool guy? Well, now Ness and his friends are trapped in robot bodies in a place outside of time and space or something like that. TV snow, but it's red and yellow. TVs don't do that anymore, I think. Pretty sure. I haven't had cable in forever. <laughs> Here we are. Battered and beaten bro bots. The war against Gygus is over. It's not waiting for me to do anything. Is this our souls? Going out of our robots? The magic of story logic revives us. One at a time. Oh, I'm back. Dad, did you see what I did? Yes, my son. I think I was wrong about you. I think. Maybe I should have been there for your whole entire life. Dad? Real? You... Are you, you... You're not joking with me. No! I think I'm going to retire from science and be a dad. Oh, it's about time! Our travels together end here. I must return to Dalam and use this experience for the god of my country. Ness, Paul. Jeff, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realized this power as a child. BK, farewell. I'll see you again someday. Do for real, PK, farewell is a is a good thing in real life. It's real good. You should do it. Paula, Ness, it was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad I had the chance to use some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If just maybe, if you two get hitched someday, maybe I'll be one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm gonna stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Andonauts. I mean, from my dad. So it looks like this is a goodbye for now, my friends. Ness, will you escort me home? Of course. I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. Hey! There's a letter from kids inside. 
There's a letter from mom inside. No. A letter from Tony inside. I'm gonna use a letter from Tony right here so we can say Jeff is reading it. Ah, Ness, you've read it already. That Tony has a heart of gold. No, I haven't read it. I just gave it to you. You know what? Hmm, should we read it? I think we should just give it, just let, it's it's to Tony though. It's to, it's to Jeff though, right? No, let's read it. Dear Jeff, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone on you with your, I wish I'd have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. Instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you came back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. There's truly Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Oh, no, it's okay. Jeff talked about you all the time. Letter from Kid. Hey, Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come play with us again at Polestar Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents. Letter from Mom. Dear Ness, how are you? Since you left home and your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. <laughs> also, we don't seem to eat butterscotch as much as we used to. I heard you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? Well, sounds that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry up home, okay? Tracy King and I are waiting for you. Love, Mom. All right, well, it's time to go to, where's Paul live? <laughs> Tucson, is that right? Three, no, Tucson. Wait, can I save? Can I save after defeating Gygus? Because I really want to. <laughs> I really don't want to have to, to uh, play through any of that anymore. The phone is still here. Save! Save me, yes, I wanna save, I wanna save. Next week will be your birthday. I'm trying very hard to be home for that big day. I'll get you a good present. I'm thinking money, what do you think about that? <laughs> All right, Dad, if it's anything less than a million dollars, I don't want it. You know, I bet everybody would have different dialogue now. Nope, I guess not. <laughs> anyway, we're taking Paula home. It's me from the past. Yes, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. So long. See ya. Bye. Oh, we'll talk on the phone. Oh, that's a good idea. Now we gotta go, it's probably, we're probably going to go to the one place. Get it, the one place? It, it wasn't on purpose, I swear. <laughs> Mom, I'm home. Oh, hey Ness, there's this letter from you. It's got a shiny colorful circle on it and two lines going through the circle. Oh, I wonder what that could be. I think it might be an invitation to your next adventure. Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all of your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure are finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it from you. All right, you finished doing everything you wanted to? Yes. Okay, now you can finally share your incredible experiences with me. You did so well. All right, we're just dancing. Gracie's dancing too. Oh yeah! And that 
is the end of Earthbound. All right, time for final thoughts. I am very glad that I played this game. I can see why it is so beloved by so many and appreciate how it's inspired our current generation of indie RPGs like Amori and Deltarune, which I've played on this channel. The game, uh, it was generally fun. I'm glad I played it for the cultural value. I, it, it has a lot of stuff that didn't age well, but I came into it, um, but I, I, I was willing to put up to, with it because, you know, this is important for being in the culture of the people who love this game and this type of game. And, uh, yeah, I came into it already having nostalgia, and I will continue to have nostalgia for it forever. You know, to be fair and honest, I'm glad it's over. Um, by the end, I had to make myself play it in order to get the videos out on time. And, you know... You know, a video game is not really something that you want to have to make yourself play. Like, a game is something that you come and do once you're done doing the things that you have to make yourself do during the day, and you wind down and relax. Uh, you know, anything... Th this channel is... is something that I love. I love making videos and playing games for this channel. Anything worthwhile that you do, you're gonna have to force yourself sometimes. And I'm very grateful that I love playing games for this channel enough to consistently get a video out every single day and not be burnt out or anything like that. I, I really love to do this. And so I'm perfectly willing to play games to... If I have to force myself to play a game, to... to... I mean, if I have to push myself a little bit to keep playing a game and get all the episodes out, that's okay. It's a worthwhile sacrifice. Yeah, so because it's an old game, I give it a leeway for the inventory, for repeating dialogue. It was a satire, but a lot of the satire lost relevance over time. Um... Sometimes you have to go through places twice for padding. Actually, <laughs> the swamp, that was me. I didn't realize you could teleport to Tenda Village, which is really weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, the characters could have been better, but again, it's an old game. Mother 3 is better. Like, I, I, I have no idea why Nintendo won't release Mother 3 to the West. Ah, fuzzy pickles! Do we get to see all the pictures? No? I guess not. Anyway, um, yeah, they're totally a market for- Oh, maybe we do get to see the pictures. There's totally a market for Mother 3, just based on Super Smash Bros. Like, there'd be tons of people who play it. And I have already played it, and the question is, will I play Earthbound Beginnings, or will I play Mother 3? And the answer is, no, I don't plan to play either of those. Because Earthbound Beginnings is an NES game, I don't like any NES game, except maybe the original Mario Bros. And, oh yeah, we get to see all the pictures! And, um, I've seen multiple Let's Plays of Mother 3 already. Um, so it, it just wouldn't fit with the games I play on my channel. I don't really know how, I mean, I have played a couple games that I started playing before and I finished on my channel. Um, uh, like, well, you know what? If Nintendo releases an official English version of Mother 3, I'll play it on this channel. We'll say that. Nintendo, if you're watching, if you release an official version of Mother 3, I will play it, and you'll get free marketing from me, okay? Just, how about that? Alright. So, if you're, if you like Undertale, there's a channel that I follow called Counselor Plays, who is, she is a therapist, 
and she brings that perspective to the game she plays, she is doing a blind let's play of Undertale right now. I love Undertale. If you like Undertale, go support her, tell her that you would love to see the rest of the series, and let the comments know who sent you. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say about Earthbound. We're gonna have to wait through all of the credits. I think I might... I don't know what I'll do in the editing. Because you probably want to at least see all the pictures, right? Maybe I'll put each of the pictures up for a couple seconds. I don't know. Like, I'm done talking. What am I going to do? There's the tent. There's the dig site. <laughs> Jeff is dead. <laughs> oh, it, they're the exact moments that we had, aren't they? There's that one. Inside the museum. love this music. That's one thing I forgot to mention. The music in this game is really, really good. It is, I don't know, it's like something about the composition of the music itself just begs to be nostalgic. It's like you hear the music and it's nostalgic. And, and it's, it's, I don't... like a home-like music? Mmm... Yeah, it's home-like. Feels like it's, it's the music that would play in your home. Inside that high-class restaurant. Oh, maybe I will just keep all this in, because the music is just so good. Producers wish to thank all the people they thank. This is going to be a really long episode, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's that one. There in the desert. Pyramid. God, the music is so good! I think I have to not cut anything out of here. And you, the viewer, the one who came and watched this Let's Play from beginning to end, thank you. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and subscribe for other awesome games. I'll see you in the next game! Bye!